What happens when you ask a host of celebrities to perform well-known musical hits whilst distracting them with challenges involving fire, creepy crawlies and chest waxing? A brand new Saturday night entertainment series for ITV1, that's what. Now, tomorrow night, our final guest, uh, known for her ability to sing, will be attempting to sing If She Can, but with snakes thrown into the mix. Oh, this is really not for the faint-hearted. Take a look. <laughs> I tell you what, I have never clenched my buttocks that tight. <laughs> but I was scared to let them one go in case I squash one. But the, uh, no, it was... <laughs> How much notice did you have before you actually did that, that that's what they were going to do? You kind of knew that there was going to be something involved because they, they mentioned it throughout the show. And, yeah, it's the nature of the show, isn't it? The, it is the nature yeah. of the show, but never in a month of Sundays did I expect that ready. Well, I'm on it in a couple of weeks. I think I got off lightly because I, I had something to do with foxes and bin dipping. <laughs> do you, it, do I'm not saying any more than that, but you, it was a lot easier than that. I don't know how you did it. We not, I, I was, I was scared. I was more fearful that there was three boy dancers that had to pick me up, bless them. And, uh, and then they laid me down in this pit and I just never expected that many. But it was a brilliant show. We had a corking team. We had um, Bridget Nielsen, or Brigitte. Oh. She's absolutely... Gorgeous. She's been on here. Yeah, we've yeah. yeah. met the yeah. Yeah. Done it. Yeah. Yeah. And Brendan Cole, so mm. it was a really good team. So, is it a kind of competition? I mean, are there heats and you know different celebrities are pitching against other celebrities, or yeah, there's, there's, how does it work? There's two teams of celebrities, and basically, it is what it is. You have to sing if you can. Now, what that's if you cool. can't? What if you stop? Well, <laughs> well then your team you loses. Lose. Then really. your team is an, an audience vote, so then the audience vote who was the best to kind of trundle through. And there are judges because. Oh, yes. then you get like three judges each. Well, Colleen one. Yes. was one of your she judges. She was our very own Nolan. She was, and we had uh, Dave Gorman and um, oh, oh, Happy Mondays. Sean, Sean Ryder. Sean Ryder. Ryder. Yes. I'm sure he's, he's good with snakes. Yeah, and he scared me. But actually, Keith Lemon had to leave the stage because he was scared of snakes, and there was quite a few people who did have to do like a little scoot over to the side. Oh yeah, I was there though. And do you have to do that thing where you go on a record player, a giant inflatable record player, and they spin it so fast that celebrities are flying off in all directions yeah. like this? Yeah, I split my spanks. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, it's not the only thing you're on screen with at the moment because you're appearing in Candy Cats. Yes. On the other side. Oh, on the other side. Yeah. Now, uh, do you know what? It's absolutely brilliant. I play this part called Diane. And, you know, you're talking about having things done and stuff before. Every time I had this, like, hairpiece and it was like a Croydon facelift, honestly. Yeah. And when I took it off, my eyelids tickled my chin. It was just... <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, 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 the whole premise of the, the drama is uh, based around a female-run yes. cab company. Yes. Yeah. So, how good are you behind the wheel, especially when it comes to parking? Do you know, I'm, do you know ironically, <laughs> doing candy cabs, the first car I ever had was a pink Jeep. Because I used to be a nail technician in my former life. And, uh, yeah, really bad. I bumped that car like a bumper car in Blackpool. I really did. No, so, not good at all. No? No, not at all. Like are you? Women. Are you? But you said you're a good driver, didn't you? Well, like, I don't. Well, no, yeah, don't listen to me. No, her. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a lot of motorways. Let's just not say you... none of them want to lift home. Um, <laughs> no, we don't. But uh, they're, they're, you're a Blackpool girl yes. as well, aren't you? So yeah. when you said the bumper girl thing, I'm from just down the road, Lytham St Anne's. Oh, are you really? Oh, that's really? posher, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Oh, she's posher. She yes, really I is, am. Yeah. You, nobody would ever know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm downwardly mobile. <laughs> would, would you say that you are somebody that embraces your femininity or, like Jenny, does it make you want to grow a beard? No, I don't. No, no I've got one of them as well. The, uh... <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do that? Do you ever say uh, Anyway, no. Um, no, no. no. <laughs> wow, deep. The, um, no, I do. I do, and I, I believe that when you go on girly nights out, the two hours that you spend getting ready is sometimes better than you do when you when you go out and have a laugh. I just, I love putting, you know, doing my hair, putting a bit of lippy on, and, and going out. It makes you. It does make you feel. Better about yourself. So you're you pleasing. You're pleasing yourself. You're pleasing your girlfriends. You're pleasing. Are you going out to hook boys? I th no, I think you please yourself. I think if you please yourself first, and then the rest will follow. Hopefully. <laughs> 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 boys, like she's a fan. Of course.
<laughs> hey, who is your boy? Oh, he's lovely. Oh, look at me. I go all gooey. No, he's, he's new. Well, I say that, it's coming up for a year. And he, he's, he's a man. Do you know the sort that's is got... Is this the same one as... Oh, no, he was no, a weirdo in, no. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you meet this one? I met him at a wake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love a finger buffing me. Yeah. <laughs> No, he's into cars, so he's a he's a brilliant driver, oh. and he's a terrible passenger. So he does, he's become like a chauffeur. So he's great, but no, yeah. So it's does, totally different. Does he does he mind if you're driving though? Does he? Cause yeah, he does. Are a bit, they don't like it, do they? No, they, it's funny. Why do they do that though? I don't know. Well, it's only they like Jenny because they're scared for their life. <laughs> well, yeah. well, they're better at reading maps though, aren't they? Men are better no, at reading no, maps. No, 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 no. no. Well, no, actually they're not because I can read maps. I'm a brilliant Parker and I'm a brilliant map reader. So I. Can't can't do both. Someone's got to See, do something. So, yeah. so what are you saying all this rubbish on the show for then? That women are terrible drivers? Because they are, except for me. But I'm saying, same, <laughs> but same as you. Same as you. My mum will not drive on the motorway, and she hates things like trucks and stuff like that. So yeah. So it's it's a weird thing. I think you're either good or you're not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Your car. Yeah. Oh, Jodie, yeah, thank you so reason. much. Good luck yeah. with the show. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you for visiting us. It's Jodie Prenjo. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.